Hello everybody, welcome to another Yellow Chair Devotional. We're doing their science experiment together here and then we're gonna look in the Bible and see what else we can learn about God, the master scientist. Now, you've probably sung this song, maybe in Sabbath school or vacation Bible school, camp meeting. So what about the song that goes, the wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock. The wise man built his house upon the rock and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up, but the house on the rock stood firm. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand. The foolish man built his house upon the sand and the rains came a tumbling down. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up. The rains came down and the floods came up and the house on the sand went smash. Oh man, do you think that we can maybe learn a little bit about quicksand building upon the sand? Now quicksand is deceiving, right? Maybe you've seen quicksand in a movie where they're just walking along and the next thing you know, they're sinking. How could they be tricked like that? How could the foolish man think that building his house on the sand he wasn't going to do it if it looked all sandy and smushy. No, he must have been tricked into, he must have thought, no, this is, this is hardy stuff. This is firm. How does that work? Well, we're going to do an experiment with cornstarch and water. Cornstarch and water, pretty simple ingredients here. Now, all you got to remember is you want twice as much cornstarch as water. <clears throat> so to keep my fractions easy, I have a cup of cornstarch, a cup of cornstarch, and then what's, what's half of that? A half a cup of water, all right? And then I'm just gonna start mixing. Just gonna mix this all up. Now, the first thing I'm noticing, actually, let me bring the camera down closer here. I don't want it to tip though. The first thing that I'm noticing is, oh, look at how hard this is to stir. Ooh. Stirring, it's like very thick and gooey and stiff. When you first step on the, to quicksand, if you were just to run as fast as you could, you aren't going to disturb the sand particles because there is more sand, just like there's more cornstarch than water. Now it's kind of looking soupy, isn't it? Because I've got it going. I've got the water moving in between the particles of cornstarch. It's when you kind of enter slow or maybe you're just sitting there that the water in that sand starts to pool in and you go down, down, down. All right, so we're going to illustrate this here. Look, if I hit this, or if I try and go really, really fast, it's hard. We're going to let it sit for just a second. So remember, there's more cornstarch particles or more sand grains in quicksand than there is water. So Look at that, if I hit it really hard, my finger bounces off and I don't even really get much on me. It just bounces along. But if I go slow, oh, it feels, it feels like liquid. Slow. Now, what if, what if I tried to grab some really quick? Eventually it's gonna, so if I, let me, how do I illustrate this without making a humongous mess? If I grab some like that, you can see it kind of slops through my fingers, right? But if I go like that, if I poke it really fast and really hard, it doesn't, it resists. Can you see how it's resisting me? Almost like walking on water. Okay, let me show you this with a spoon, okay? I'm gonna show you with a spoon 
by stirring. If I try and stir it really, 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 really quick, oh, it gets so hard to stir. Do you see how it's getting thicker and thicker? Why do you think it's getting hard for me to stir? Because the water isn't being able to settle in any spot. It's not being able to flow between the grains of quicksand or my particles of cornstarch. But if I go nice and slow, oh, if I go nice and slow, then it's just a soup. It's just a soup. But if I try and grab it fast, you're gonna feel that resistance. Fast and slow, fast and slow, quicksand. It's tricky stuff. You poke it fast, you walk onto it at first, and it feels firm. Maybe the foolish man, he thought that that sand was firm. But what happened when the rain comes, whoosh, that sand went out, it was washed away. Now that's actually a story that Jesus tells. Do you know that? In Matthew chapter seven, Matthew chapter 7, this is during his Sermon on the Mount, right? It's a sermon. He's talking with a whole crowd of people, and he shares towards the end. This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. This is Jesus talking. He says, everyone who hears these things I say and obeys them is like a wise man. The wise man built his house on rock. It rained hard and the water rose. The winds blew and it hit that house. But the house did not fall because the house was built on rock. But the person who hears the things I teach and does not obey them is like a foolish man. The foolish man built his house on sand. It rained hard, the water rose, and the winds blew and hit that house. And the house fell with a big crash. So Jesus is going, listen to what I'm saying to you. Follow my instructions, my teaching. He wraps up his sermon like this. He's given all of this wisdom, all of this advice, all of these different pictures of God's love for us. And he goes, hey, if you'll just believe and follow what I'm saying, it's like you're building on rock. Now, sometimes do our lives feel like quicksand? We're barely holding it together. It's a little bit shaky. If a storm were to come along, it might just blow us over. Well, there's an amazing promise in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 10, all right? So this is, this is God talking through the prophet Isaiah. So this is a promise from God saying, The mountains may disappear and the hills may come to an end but my love will never disappear. My promise of peace will not come to an end, says the Lord who shows mercy to you. Think about that. When your life feels shaky, when it seems like everything's fallen down around you, right? The mountains may disappear, the hills may come to an end, but you know what's always going to be constant? It's never going to be shaky. It's always going to be firm. God's love for us will never disappear. His promise of peace will never end. God's always got that love and that peace for us, which is an amazing promise when maybe we feel like we're walking on quicksand or maybe we're sinking. Life has been stirred up and oh, it's getting hard. God's love will never end. His peace is always there for us. Even though everything around us might be going crazy, we can count on that promise. We can remind God, God, you said your love will never disappear, that your peace will never come to an end, and that you show mercy on us. And God goes, that's right. Be comforted by it. Believe it. I'm with you always. Let's say a prayer and close our time together. Dear God, we're so thankful for your love, your peace, your mercy. We can count on those even though it might seem like quicksand around us. When we follow and believe the promises that you have for us, the teachings, the things that we see in the Bible, we are building ourselves on the rock, and that is you. We're so thankful for your love in your name. Amen. All right, there's some discussion questions in the video description below. Have fun with, with your quicksand here. You can add some food coloring to it. It's 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 kind of fun. You can put it in a in a 
in a cup like this where it's deeper or you could put it out on a plate where it's shallow you can see how it differs and how the different textures when you're going fast versus slow have fun with that be careful don't make too big a mess clean up after yourself and i'm gonna go let the dogs out i'll see you next time